Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. My name's Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today you've met our Red River Hogs in the Savannah building and watched them enjoy some water enrichment. We're going to chat a little bit today about the difference between pigs and things that are not pigs. If you come to the Calgary Zoo, you'll see two pig species and one pig-like species. We have Red River Hogs from Africa in the Savannah building and Eurasian wild boars down by uh, next to the tiger habitat. We also have uh, Chacoan peccaries, which are a animal that looks a lot like a pig. A lot of folks walk by and go, oh, that, that kind of looks like a warthog. What is that? And it's a peccary, which is sort of related to pigs, but they're not a true pig. Both have a snout uh, that they use for digging around, finding food in the ground, but uh, peccaries don't have as big of ears. Their tail is very, very tiny. It's not the curly corkscrew that we're more familiar with. And they don't live in the same parts of the world. Pigs, uh, true pigs, come from Africa. They come from Eurasia. The peccaries are what we call kind of like a new world, which is uh, in South and Central America. Now, I want to introduce you to who we have. So next time you're at the zoo, you know their names. The Red River Hogs are Neosho, Kwango, Sakoro, and Lakoro. Those are all uh, names that come from Africa. Uh, we have Eurasian wild boars, Wilbur, Fern, and Poppy, uh, made popular by books like Charlotte's Web. And then the peccaries are all named for species of pepper, uh, Jalapeno, Ancho, and Serrano. Uh, their dad's name was Chile, which is where their theme came from. Here at the zoo, we love themed names, so all of the animals have different themed names. On my card today, you can see some different skulls from the pigs and pig-like species. This one here is from an African bush pig, very closely related to a red river hog. The one on the far side is from a Eurasian wild boar. It's very similar to a domestic pig that uh, we find here in Canada. The one in the middle that you can see that looks a lot different is the peccary skull. As we take a look at the skulls, we'll notice some differences between them. Peccaries have fewer teeth than a pig does. When they're an adult, peccaries have 38 teeth whereas a pig has 44. How many teeth do you have? Did you learn when you were counting them yesterday for Lion Day? Uh, check back, if you didn't watch that video, make sure you check that one out as well. Now for today's daily dose at home activity, it's time to explore some language arts. We've written you a story about Neosho, the Red River Hog, and we're gonna ask you to use your language art skills to find the different parts of language, which are the nouns, which are the verbs, and then we invite you to share a story with us about what a pig in the Savannah building might be up to while the Calgary Zoo is closed. Thank you so much for watching Daily Dose at home. Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.